Okay, what this webinar is about is setting goals and having a list of goals to do each day, each week, each month, and a daily method of operation, and then an end goal. Uh, most of the people in the webinar are from the US, so you would have spent the day doing things. But my question to you would be, did you have a plan, a daily method of operation uh, when you started this morning and what have you achieved by the end of the day, uh, whether it's in your personal life or it's uh, your business? Uh, how many people actually sort of spent the time and had a plan of action and, and implemented that plan? Uh, just let me know whether you, you work on a daily method of operation, uh, say, either Y or, or N, or no. Uh, can you hear me all right, Jim, there? Cool, okay. All right, well, what I'm going to do is we'll go through, I'll let Jerry take over in a minute, and Jerry can share his method of operation. Just a little bit about Jerry. I'll bring up the screen now so you can see his Facebook page. Just let us know when you can see the screen. Anyway, I've known Jerry for um, a fair bit of time now through marketing survival skills. Uh, Jerry, in my mind, has always been a leader. And I know in the past, Jerry has done webinars for marketing survival skills in the early stages. But what, what we're going to do is let Jerry share what he does on a daily basis. So what I'll do is I'll just make Jerry the presenter and he can take over. Find the box. Okay. Okay, Jerry, you're on. Uh, you there, Jerry? Okay, guys, I think I'm on. Yes, you're uh -huh. on. Can uh, you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Jerry. Great, okay. I'm sorry? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I'm here. Can can you guys uh, put in the uh, chat to make sure that everybody else can hear me also? And I think you guys are seeing my screen, so let me just shrink this. Um, okay, well, um, first of all, to the uh, guys on my uh, uh, who are with 124, um, this is a, a, a system that a lot of folks are using that is uh, just tremendously, tremendously helpful. It does not have a primary business attached to it. Um, uh, if you want more information about this, just uh, let me know. But I will tell you, uh, if you're not familiar with it, for 10 bucks a month, you get uh, not only hosting, but you get the best webinars, the best training, the best live training. Uh, what Dave and I are doing, we do three, four times a week. Um, the guys who have uh, put this uh, page up are a couple of uh, young, uh, very, very, very media savvy entrepreneurs. Um, I obviously have not put this in the uh, 124 chat room, although all of my team knows about it. Um, you know, it, because I mean, technically it would be sort of cross recruiting, but 
Uh, I will tell you that uh, I've spent, I can't even tell you, thousands of dollars with Jonathan Budd and Mike Dillard and all of those guys, and it's all good stuff. I mean, I've learned a ton, uh, but I've learned more in the last year uh, with Mike and, when, and Adam than I have uh, in all the other years combined on the, on the, uh, uh, on the web, and, and they only recently started uh, uh, charging. So um, uh, it's really very good. And in, in full disclosure, if you join, I will make five dollars. So <laughs> if uh, I'm, I'm already free, I mean, I already don't, I've got a lot of people who are uh, under me in this venture. But uh, so just just did want to let you know that. So um, uh, the point is that if you join MSS, uh, not only do you have all of the tools, and, and uh, Dave, I'm sure will review some of those when we get off and show you all the things that he does with the, the daily method, um, but um, uh, if you get two people, you're you're not only paid for. If you get three people, you're making money. So I earn a, a, a nice little affiliate check every month from MSS. I'm sure Dave does also. So that's enough of the uh, enough of the uh, advertising. Uh, uh, but uh, again, for you guys who were on here, uh, who are not part of MSS, who came from the uh, 124 online chat room, uh, that's uh, uh, that's what we're doing. This is one of the live trainings. So let me make sure that I can get my screens live here. Because sometimes during yeah okay good all right so here's what's happened guys I've gone to my marketing survival skills uh, home home page uh, signed on and have gotten into what we call the scripts and these are the chat scripts and this is how you uh, recruit on Facebook or at least this is how I recruit on Facebook and I will tell you that of every method that I know out there um, I guarantee you that if you spend uh, oh gosh, an hour, an hour and a half on Facebook each day, you will have three to five solid, solid prospects. Um, now the reason that I don't <laughs> is because I type horribly, as you'll see in a second. So this is really a grind for me. Um, but fortunately, I can put in, I can copy and paste all of these little um, uh, scripts here, and you'll see that that's what I do uh, pretty regularly. And sometimes I actually have my wife do this. Uh, instead, but this is really sort of, like I said, sort of agony for me uh, because um, I just type so horribly. But uh, as you can see, there's a getting started phase. There's a, a success one, two, three, uh, tons and tons of training. Uh, in fact, let me just show you this. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I, I, I don't want to get out of the chats. But this is the one that I use every day, and these are the chat scripts. So if I'm on with someone uh, for the first time, and I'll show you this uh, in a second, um, these are the scripts that I use. Um, these are some uh, example of friends. Um, these are follow-up scripts. These are reverse techniques. So someone you're chatting with tries to get you into their uh, uh, opportunity, or you know, this is a way to do it. Um, and uh, this is how you build new relationships via email. Uh, what do you what do you say when people ask you what do you do? Uh, here's some advanced scripts. Now, this is this would be for the primary businesses, and we have a number of them. Uh, uh, we've got ROI. We've got um, uh, oh gosh, I'm just drawing a blank. 124. Uh, Dave, you just have to t talk about some of the other ones. But um, so these are the ones that I'm generally doing because right now that's what I'm looking to recruit them into. I'm looking to recruit them into 124. Um, and these are the scripts you use with other networkers. These are the scripts you use with affiliate marketers. Um, it, it's really very, very comprehensive and very, very easy to, uh, to, to use and to learn. So the trick is you've got to get two uh, pages open at the same time. And this is actually about daily method of operation. So let me, uh, where's my other page here? Hang on. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so you open up two two pages at the same time, and and actually before I start that, David also wanted me to do uh, my daily method of operation, um, and this is what uh, what I tend to do every single day. So uh, first thing I do is um, uh, I go through all of my inboxes, and um, I've got five or six uh, different uh, email accounts, uh, some separated out specifically by various businesses. Um, I look at everything that uh, you know might have come in that I either want to pass on to my team, uh, trainings that I know are coming up, etc. 
and I do a lot of the correspondence and get that out of the way. Now, I'm in Florida, uh, East Coast, so that's all going on 8 o'clock uh, in the morning, generally. Um, and most of that stuff is out of the, out of the way by 9 o'clock. Uh, the second thing that I do, then, is warm market calling. And I try to do that first thing. Um, people are uh, either at work or on their way to work or whatever, but folks who I know in the warm market, I don't mind calling them between 9, 10, 11 o'clock, uh, leaving a message and saying, hey, um, uh, you know, in my, my line is very, very simple. I'll tell you, the only script that I use is, uh, hey, Dave, uh, just wondering, uh, if you got a moment, I've got a question for you. And that's, that's it. That is my entire script. Hey, Dave, I've got a question for you. Uh, by the way, that will get you through all of the voicemail, uh, uh, you know, the, the introductory messages you get on voicemail. You call somebody up, you get a voicemail, what do you say? Um, you don't have to say anything. I've got a question for you, period. Uh, I even text people that same thing. I mean, I will tell you that my uh, return rate uh, on, on telephone calls is, is tremendous. I get called back using that one very, very simple technique. I will also tell you that I don't make any of this stuff up. Uh, I, I, go, I train a lot with Todd Falcone. Uh, any script, that, a lot of the scripts that you're going to see in here are Todd Falcone scripts that Mike adopted or I adopted um, or whatever, and uh, he's another guy that, uh, uh, his, for, for if you want to know what to say, the actual language to use, uh, reading lines, um, uh, he's the guy to do it with. Um, so uh, I was a professional salesperson for 20 plus years. I've been online for five plus years, and I just spent 100 bucks to listen to a four-hour uh, audio webinar with, uh, uh, with Todd uh, not more than a, a week ago, and um, uh, his, his training is just invaluable. So he's the guy to go to for scripts. Uh, there's a lot of stuff back here as well. So that so that brings me up to um, uh, daily method. Now, how do you get people onto Facebook? Well, there's a couple of techniques that people use, and I had I was telling Dave today that I have actually just totally changed. Um, uh, I had a, a complete uh, rethinking of what I'm doing on Facebook because. One of the things that we've been teaching, and this may be working for other guys, um, is to come in here and chat up a few of these people. Just go in here and you know m m make a, a few comments here and make a few comments here. Bill Gantz is actually somebody who I would. But I want to show you something. As you go through these pages, I want you to notice what is underneath all of these chats. Okay? So this is obviously a spam. This is a complete spam. Don't ever do that. No one is going to respond to you. Absolutely no one. So don't ever just put an ad like this up on Facebook. Uh, it just doesn't work. And, and, and actually, um, you know, I mean, if Paul Blackman would have chat, uh, you know, hit me up with a chat, I may not even, may not even talk to him because uh, that, that's just idiotic. That's uh, uh, just outright spam. Um, but I want you to notice that nobody commented. There's no response. Same thing with Ed with just $25,000. No response. Uh, Chris Sinell is the CEO of a company, uh, XB Fit. Uh, I've, I've worked with them. Uh, again, okay, now look, this one does have a couple. There's four comments. Um, all she did is put up a, a, a pretty little picture of herself, um, you know, uh, etc. Uh, again, no comments, no comments, no comments, no comments. Uh, Amy Salier, this is a friend of uh, um, our, my kids. Um, she's got, she had six comments. Uh, John Ramsey, big time. Uh, I suspect these guys are in his downline. Um, uh, John Ramsey is a big time networker. Uh, Tarlise also a big time networker, so she's got comments. But again, every one of those people is in her downline. Uh, and, and again, you just go through this and you will see very, very few people respond to anything other than something nice and personal. You know, what every parent ought to see. Well, she's got, you know, 10 people responded to that. Um, uh, uh, Tanya is she's a real estate lady in um, uh, in in Texas, um, and uh, she just she just did four square. This one I do recommend. Uh, you will get people in those cities, uh, but again, these out and out these out and out blasts, these just pure ads are, are just garbage. So, uh, 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 and this is interesting. And now Eric, what's on the sky's limit? This guy is a character. He's got a large personal following. Uh, he's known as, uh, he's, he's actually a professional comedian. He also does some interesting uh, social media stuff. So he's got a lot, a lot of friends. Um, and uh, Jody's his partner, so of course Jody would comment. 
Uh, let me see who else uh, comment, commented on here. I'll tell you if all of these are his followers or not. Oh, are we going to be really slow because uh, I think we are. Uh, yeah. This is, what, this is going to take a while. Oh, boy. I don't know how much chatting I'm going to do, Dave. Because, well, yeah. Uh, sorry, guys. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, four of these people I also know, and they're they're part of Eric's uh, uh, Eric's close friends. But uh, again, none of these. Uh, this guy. Uh, uh, that's interesting. Okay, Scott's underneath me. I recruited Scott personally into 124. Uh, Bob Jaspers is a, what did he put up? Uh, okay, <laughs> a, little, a little comedy. He's a fishing buddy of mine. Uh, so again, if you look through here, you will notice that no spam, no spam gets any, any response at all. And the nice things are these mobile uploads, these little, these little videos, um, et cetera. And those are the things that people are going to respond to. Uh, uh, so if, if, you, if you do want to, um, you know, get some action on here, I'm going to suggest that you not put your, uh, you know, don't, don't spam it all on the front page. These cute little personal things are very good. These pithy little sayings, and I've been doing this a long time and, and, and just decided I'm not doing it anymore. Um, all of these pithy little sayings um, simply don't work any longer, and, I, and it may be that um, you know, there's so many of us out there who are doing it uh, that that people are just uh, immune to it. Uh, um, so anyway, uh, so that that's a little comment on, on on what I what I used to do. What I used to do was come in. Now I will put some chats in here on a uh, on a daily basis. Um, you know, so I would come in and um, I wouldn't do anything there, but I I might make a note to Christopher Sinella because I know him. Um, if I genuinely look, you know, like this, I'd probably say something to her. Uh, the other thing is she's already got nine people who have responded to that, so that means I'm going to show up on their nine pages, and it would be nice if I could say something reasonably intelligent. And again, I'm not going to bother doing it because the, uh, when you're operating uh, during a webinar, these things take a, a, a very long uh, time to lead. Um, okay, so one of the things that David, did, uh, David and I did talk about today, however, was doing something different. And that is going into uh, either friends or groups. And let me just pick out uh, uh, a group here, one, one where I'll, I know the, I'll see a lot of activity. Ah. David, this is going to take forever. OK, let me go into Fearless Networkers here. This is a pretty active group. This usually goes pretty quickly. Um, okay, this is um, this is Todd Falcone's uh, uh, group, actually, Fearless Networkers, and uh, these things do. There's a lot of people in here, so these things do get uh, responses. Um, you know, Todd uh, puts something up, or some of these other folks uh, put something up. So um, now here, I will tell you that um, that if you put notes in here in the groups. Uh, you will get a bit more of a response, but even then, look how many of these have one response or no response. Uh, this one is pretty good. Bond down, blah, blah, blah. Going to become a six or seven figure. You learn the entire product line. Yep. Okay. So this isn't sponsoring anything. This is just a really a helpful tip. Uh, so again, don't spam. Uh, you know, provide value in the groups themselves. And this seems to be uh, uh, much, much more important. Uh, then, um, you know, then again, spamming. Uh, I made my first 12 calls today. That's great because he, he just did this. He just did this training, and and a lot of these people were in it. Um, and so, yeah, so they would have seen, you know, they would have seen the training. Everybody who's in there is maybe even new to the page, and is just you know uh, reinforcing what uh, what he said. Um, okay, and this is a nice note. Uh, is not in uh, on, on your home page putting those little two line one line two line things there uh, on your wall but find the groups that you like and you can see that I've got a whole bunch from here I got 50, 50 more um, 
And uh, between uh, uh, David and I, we can we can give you groups. I mean, there's just tons of groups. So you can go up here and just type in a search for uh, what you want to do. That's also in the training. I'm not going to spend time doing that. Um, so that's how you that's how you do create interest. And um, uh, so let's say uh, you know that uh, I wanted to put something in this fearless network. Is I might even do a little recording of what we're doing right now. Uh, hey gang, here's here's something I found to be very helpful. Uh, I do daily chats on Facebook. Here's a brief recording of me doing one or two, and I would actually you know spend the, a little bit of time make a recording, either actually show them my screen or describe what I'm doing, and paste the video in here. And David and I were talking about this this morning, and, and I'm quite sure that that's what I'm going to be doing uh, from now on, uh, just based on his, uh, actually, he gave me the idea this morning, and I think it's a great idea. And as I've gone through the groups, that's, uh, that's pretty much what I've seen. So uh, a, a great idea, David. So, uh, so, that, so that's number one. Number two, um, uh, you know, so now I'm finally in, uh, on, on Facebook and trying to decide what I'm going to do. And uh, uh, so the first thing that I would do possibly is to do one of those uh, either recordings or a note. And uh, these longer notes, I do notice, get uh, a lot more uh, uh, feedback, a lot more playback. So uh, uh, let's see. Find, uh, oh, on the wrong page. Ah. Well, okay. I, I, I'm not going to do that because again, I want to get the chatting, and that's going to that's going to take it. But uh, we do have training in here on how you create notes and how you re, uh, recruit for events. And those, I think, are the, are the three key things right now for me for Facebook. What you want to be doing is you want to be posting uh, notes, not little, uh, but, but notes that have real value. Um, so uh, the other day I found something on, um, hey, Di, what was that note that uh, we typed up the, uh, uh, on Monday? Um, you typed up the note for me on Monday. On, um, I'm trying to remember the, the theme of it. Remember the, the long note that we typed on Facebook? Oh, yes, yeah, okay. So uh, my wife's a kindergarten teacher, and uh, there's a, 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 a poem, a, 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 not a poem, but a, a little essay called Everything I Ever Wanted to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. And I took a couple of lines out of there about, um, uh, you know, treating people right and treating people fairly and, uh, um, uh, you know, not taking what, what doesn't belong to you, et cetera. And I wrote a little note about, okay, you know, if you take somebody from somebody else, give them credit. Uh, you know, if you create it yourself, great. But one of the most flattering things you can do on the Internet is to tell someone else that they have been of value. And you can also let other people know that you value opinions. Because you want this to be about not about yourself, but about them. So even when you see my, my how I chat, um, I keep the emphasis on the other person. You want to really generate interest, but you want to be interested in them. Uh, so I, I put a little note down saying, hey, this is uh, you know something I got from an author uh, by the name of Robert Fulgham, and uh, here's the point of it, and and uh, uh, you know, and I and, that, and I translated what he said into about giving credit where credits due on the internet. So when you use somebody's information, uh, make sure that you let them know, uh, give them credit. Uh, you can even do a, a hashtag on Twitter. You can even do a, an at, uh, you know, on on Facebook. So if you're going to identify them and let you let them know that you're uh, actually using their material, um, they love it. The other thing is that if I'm using something from uh, Todd Falcone and I put it on Fearless Networker or I put it on his homepage, uh, guess what? Um, I've got 2,000 friends. He's got 5,000 friends. Um, so those 5,000 friends are going to see that Jerry Goldsmith is using Todd Falcone's information, and maybe I get a, I get a, a couple of uh, interested folks as a result of that. Um, so uh, so that's that's the uh, second thing. So uh, videos and notes uh, are, the, are the way that I'm going to be doing it from now on. And now we actually get to the uh, the heart of the matter, and that's chatting. And I think this is not going to go well, but let me just uh, let's just take a quick peek here. Loading. Let's see. Sorry, guys. You know what? Let me uh, close my Skype. Okay. Okay. 
page. Okay, so when you when you get in here, when you get at the chat, now again, I'm not going to go through uh, how I arrived at these lists and what my lists are, etc. I just want to show you what uh, what to do. I have a I have have a two um, two categories here. One is not yet, uh, and these are people that I know that I've had some conversation with, uh, but not necessarily about the business. Um, but uh, you know, for for whatever the reason, I've had I've had one or two conversations with them and I intend to go back now and have some more and these are people who I've had zero conversation with. these are just and by the way this will be at the bottom of your page you put in your you put into uh, lists and you set up your own category so here's how I have I have family fishing friends other networkers current chats are people who I'm following up with uh, not yet the uh, category and if you want to reorder them, you always want that not yet on the bottom. And you do that over here. So this is where this is where you, you create these lists. And once you're over here, and again I apologize because we're I'm, I'm on is whether or not it, that this is going so slowly. In here, you can, under options, this is where you can reorder the lists. So if your lists are out of order, you just go in here and you drag this up or down, um, et cetera. But this will always be on the bottom, uh, the ones that uh, the, so it's called uh, Other Friends. Uh, so I keep the not yets here, and, and we all have our own names from, I think Mike calls them uh, New Relationships. I used to have a thing called Prospects, um, et cetera. Uh, but I'm now done reordering, and now I'm actually going to go in and chat. So let me find somebody in here. And I will go to, this is the only pain in the ass part of this. You have to do, uh, you have to do it this way. You can't, uh, you can't keep this at the bottom. And uh, there's two categories that I'll go into, uh, the not yet category uh, and the other. So let me just do some brand new ones here. Let me pick Ben Drake. I've never spoken to Ben before. Uh, whatever. Okay, and now I'm going to minimize this because I'm actually going to be taking scripts from here. So the first one is high. Now I can handle that myself. By the way, the people who are good at this can do four or five windows at a time. Um, I'm lucky if I can do two or three at a time. And sometimes I just concentrate on one. And again, it's just lousy typing skills. But if you can have five of these open at once, uh, you'd really be very good. So let's see if Ben is uh, Ben is available. Hi, Ben. And we'll just see if he's there. The other thing is, um, uh, if he is, it's going to be difficult to check out his page. And you don't want to do that right away. He may not even be there. Okay, so let me close that. Hopefully we'll get a response. You open the second one. Oh, and then the other thing you've got to do is you've got to keep track of who you uh, who you're speaking with because I have to go back and, and re-edit them. Uh, and you used to be able to just drag them from one uh, one place to another, but you can't do that anymore. Uh, did Ben come back on? Yeah, here he is. Okay, hi, Jerry. Okay, so now what I do is I just how are you? This normally goes like, uh, you know, it's almost instantaneous, but uh, it's going to be a little bit slower. Uh, and while I, as long as it's going this slowly, I'm actually going to take a moment here and go see who he is. Uh, so what do we know about him? Let me close this up. Okay, yeah, so great. He's into, uh, he's into network marketing. Let me close it for a second. Uh, see if we can actually, oh, he's got his own website. Okay, he's a pretty sophisticated marketer, I would say. He's got his own website. I'm not going to go to the blog. 
but I am going to go to uh, info here and see what else I can find out about him. Uh, he's in Marine Rescue, self-employed, mentor and coach. Oh, he's in Australia. Okay. Um, so uh, the only I'm, I'm only one opportunity right now that is international, but MSS is international, so I can chat. I can chat with him about that. Uh, so let me find him again. Dave, you have to tell me how to disable that, by the way. <laughs> okay, ironically. actually doing a webinar for someone in Australia. As the fires sub that may be real old news down here. But I just want to get this guy chatting, and eventually I'll get around to, uh, you know, what he does, how long he's been doing it, uh, you know, etc. cetera. Um, and what, what eventually I'll end up doing is inviting him to an event uh, on, uh, on Thursday night. There's an MSS event, so... Masters in Australia recently. We have them now in Arizona and Florida. And so that's sort of how it goes. Now, what I what I usually will do at this point uh, is either get right into, hey, what is it uh, you know that you do, or so forth. But my favorite thing to do at this point is to say, hey, uh, got a phone call. Uh, let me let me hit you up the next time uh, we chat, and then I'm going to take it into the personal chats, into the messages, uh, because I can get a lot more information and detail. And I'll show you that in a second. Let me let me just see if he responds. So I like to get it off of here. And I like to get it into here as quickly as I can. Um, there are other people who go all the way through this. See uh, you rescue on the sea. I thought I saw Mona V. He actually lives in Mona Vale. Okay. And again, yeah, this is going real, real slow. So uh, this was just for the purposes of showing you what uh, what to do. And maybe you know what? Um, I'll. Uh, I think I will see see if I can get him onto onto a, a top here. See, this is, guys, this is why it takes me so damn long to do this online. Marker. Created. What do you do? And we'll 
we'll see if he wants to chat about that. Uh, and while he's doing that, let me see if I can do two at once here. And Dave, I'll just uh, uh, I'll just hit this guy, and then we'll. Then I'll turn it back to you. That and that, this this really wasn't to teach you how to chat. It was just to talk about you know how do you uh, you know what, what do you do on a daily basis. Okay, so he's not responding. So what I'll do is I will now move him into. Oh, here's Bob. Okay. Okay, so let me do the how are you. I'm going to actually combine a couple of them here. And we'll see what he's got to say. Uh, during in the training itself, Mike actually sets up a very sophisticated uh, Excel, not sophisticated, but an Excel sheet uh, where he keeps track of all of these. But um, I just do it this way, and then I'll add them. And I'm going to cut this one off pretty quickly. Um, I'm just going to make an excuse here. Oops. This is pretty ironic. He, uh, I probably passed by his house. So this is a a real good guy for me to follow up with. Uh, Merritt Island. My, my wife and I go bird watching there all the time, and it's great fishing. So I'm going to send him this me message, and then I'm going to um, then I'm going to get out of here. I help people change their lives. Okay, this guy is this guy is is actually he, this. So this is a, rec a, re a recruit. Uh, I help people change their lives. Uh, Jerry, what about you? Um, okay, so let me just put down. Um, would love to find out how, comma, but my son is on the other line. Let me uh, chat at you in a bit. So this guy for sure is a is a uh, you know is is going to actually try to um, uh, tell me about his opportunity. If you can type, this is absolutely the way to go. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I got two two good folks. Now the really nice thing is that these these uh, these chats will save. Uh, these chats will save, and um, uh, so when I go back up here uh, now and and uh, let me blow the screen up. And get into home, and I contact them in here. Okay, so so I actually have a history. I can follow this right down, and these are all the other people uh, that I've been talking to. Um, 
you used to have to uh, have a separate program to save these. So this is really great. So uh, that's really it. Um, uh, if you've got uh, any questions, uh, you know, type them in, and Dave, I'll turn this back over to you. Um, and that is, that's what I do on, on Facebook. Um, uh, I go through all my personal email in the morning. Um, I used to put, I used to, I will catch up on people's walls. I, I actually comment on Tatiana. I know her pretty well. Uh, she's a, a terrific lady, and uh, she's actually helped me out with some PR. Um, so I, I will definitely make a comment on her, uh, on her upload here. Uh, I'll probably make a comment on Tanya also, uh, <laughs> praying for no cavities. <laughs> That's cute. Um, and then, um, uh, you know, after I do that, uh, I might post a note in groups. And again, I'm not going to show you how to get into groups or which groups to join. That's all in our training um, in here. Um, if you guys, if you guys who are not in MSS want to know how to do that, uh, you know, give me a shout, and I'll give you a list of groups that the, uh, it's probably worthwhile uh, doing, or I'll show you, show you how to search for groups. Um, within Facebook and which groups make sense to join. Um, I'm not going to start putting videos in, uh, and, and again, and, and little training videos, uh, just uh, whatever. Uh, you know, every day one of us picks up something either in uh, online or in the 124 room or in YouTube or whatever. Uh, okay, great. Uh, okay, to get back to me. Okay. Let's see you soon. So it's obvious he wants to uh, uh, he wants to continue the conversation also. And again, for sure, I mean this is like, this is something that I would send to somebody else. I help people change their lives, Jerry. What about you? And you notice how he's asking me the question so that he wants to uh, he wants to control the conversation. That's what I was attempting to do here. What do you do? So we got two online marketers going at each other here, and um, uh, you know who knows? I mean, he may have a system that I'm interested in. Uh, frankly, if you're online and you're not using MSS, you know you you put yourself at a disadvantage because it, it, you know it's just a great system. Um, uh, again, I'm not going to try to send you guys in my primary. I think it's the one to be with, but everybody's got their own primary. So this would just end up in a, in a pissing contest. Excuse me. This would just end up in a face-off uh, if I insisted on trying to cram my opportunity down his throat. But if I continue to have a dialogue with him and see how he's generating leads, um, you know, he might ask me how I'm generating generating leads, whatever, then I'll know whether I've got a, uh, uh, then I'll, I'll know whether I've got a, uh, and who knows, it might, it might be something that, uh, that, he, that he has something uh, that I might enjoy. Uh, the other thing I do want to show you guys that has nothing to do with what we're doing. It's just something uh, that uh, uh, many of us, again, are using. This is David's. Uh, David put this together himself. Uh, we have our own little toolbar. Um, it's really uh, it's really incredible, and you can see these are the sites that I am most likely to be on: chatting on Facebook, uh, on Twitter. Oh, that's the other. By the way, that's the other way right now to add friends. Uh, I, I forgot I forgot to mention this. This is on on my daily uh, daily method also. Um, there's a site called uh, Twins, T W E I N D S, a free site. Um, you can use it to add lots of folks to Twitter. And I used to be able to do it to Facebook, but they just discontinued their Facebook relationship. But as you add friends to Twitter, you want to make sure that you have an auto message whenever you add a friend saying, hey, this is Jerry Goldsmith, blah, blah, blah. I am much more active on Facebook. Please join me there. And you give them your Facebook page. And uh, out of, uh, you know, if you, bring, if you add 10 new friends, uh, somewhere between three to five of them will join you on, uh, uh, you know, on Facebook. And... Um, uh, and if they don't, and you you know you hit them up again on on Twitter, you can you know decide whether you want to first mess uh, you want to you know try to get them over uh, you know that that's really up to you. But you will get three uh, three four five out of every ten uh, from twins to join you on Facebook uh, after you message them when they when they join you on Twitter. So uh, David, that's uh, that's really about it. Uh, why don't you uh, take it back? And if there's uh, questions, uh, uh, you know I'll be happy to answer. Okay, thanks, Jerry. Can everyone hear me? I'm just going to switch it over. Okay, you sh should be able to see Jerry's Facebook page. Just let us know when you I think see. I just gave it up. Okay. Okay, so yes, everyone can see see my screen now. Okay, Jerry. Yeah, it's back up, David. Okay, you're good. Cool. Uh, there was just one question, Jerry. Um, so 
will you, after building your relationship, then start talking about your company? Uh, that's just. Um, well, you know, I will. I actually am trying to get them in a position where they're going to ask me. I want it to come from them. Um, so here's the type of things that I, I will do. Um, on Thursday night, uh, MSS has a completely free, absolute free training, um, and it's uh, something that Mike does, or Adam does, or David does, or somebody on, on the MSS team does, and it's, and it's completely 100% uh, a giveaway, uh, Facebook training, SEO training, uh, Craigslist training. Um, gosh, I'm trying to think of what's in the, you know what's in the webinar, but that happens every every Thursday. So what I'm more likely to do is invite them to one of those things. Um, now, again, depending on what kind of answer, if I think there's an if, if I think there's an opening, uh, frankly, uh, David, I'll just tell you in 124 we have a one of the most effective marketing systems that I've ever seen. So okay, there, great. So th this is going to be this is the one that we had last. Uh, this coming up this week. Yeah, yeah. So uh, at Part one last Thursday is going to do part two uh, this week, and um, it's great stuff. And again, this is, I mean, totally, totally free. Uh, at the very end of the webinar, now listen, MSS, but this stuff is as good as it gets. And like I said, he gives it away. It's amazing. Jonathan Budd would charge you. I mean, this would be part of a $1,200 course or a $3,000 course, um, and, it, and it's completely completely included in, in the 10 bucks a month on MSS. So, so the, uh, what it is that I do. So oh, you'll notice uh, the guy from Australia, Ben, he actually asked me, what do I do? Um, and... and You know, I, I mean, I'm not going to say, hey, I'm part of 124 or I'm part of MSS. Uh, sounds like you do the same. But tell me about himself. Uh, and so that, the, the general rule of thumb is when you're chatting, you are interested in them. Just them, 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 them. Uh, the very fortunate thing is if you chat with them on Facebook, you can go to their pages. You can, you know, you can see what their messages are. You can go to their profile. So you know a whole bunch about that person, you know, as you chat. And then at some point, I'm going to try to invite him to something free. Uh, I'm going to try to invite him to the MSS thing. I do some of the same things. I take your stuff and my stuff and Adam's stuff, and I do it for our MS uh, for our 124 team following. You know, so I've done this Facebook chat. Uh, um, uh, and I've done the fan pages, and I've done a couple of those things at 10 o'clock, an hour after you guys are done. Um, but, I, but again, when I do it, I, I just tell everybody, hey, listen, I learned this from, from you know, Mike Hobbs. Uh, here's where you can find out. Uh, he, you know, here's the guy I learned it from. You want to learn it from the pro, go, go there. But, um, uh, you know, and I, I, I'll just create an event, and we'll have, you know, that'll spread through uh, the 124 community, and we'll have four or 500 people on that. Uh, maybe 200 of them are from... Uh, you know, one, two, four, maybe a hundred are from MSS, but there'll be two hundred to three hundred people who haven't heard of either company who were just on there. Uh, so free is great. Uh, the second thing that I do is, um, if somebody says, "Well, what do you do?" I say, "Well, I help people with, uh, you know, with social media, and I'll give them something." Uh, now, what I mostly give them is the social media mastery program. Um, guys in MSS know what that is. It's a seven course, seven video course. Uh, on, on you know the three main branches of social media uh, is outstanding. It's terrific. It's free. Um, and then at at some point, obviously, you've got to tell them what you do. Uh, but I want them real interested, and and hopefully, I've stirred the conversation well enough that they are asking me. And at and then even then, I'm not going to say, well, this is what I do. What I'm probably going to do is say, hey, well, listen, um, you know, I help people develop a. Uh, and I'm not telling this. I'm just telling you one of the mottos we have uh, on uh, on 124 is I help people develop a $70 a month investment into a 
uh, retirement of uh, uh, retirement income in 12 to 24 months. Well, you know, you throw that out, and they're going to say, "Well, how do you do that?" When you say, "Well, you know what? Let me let me show you," and I'll take them to our the, you know one of the trainings that we do, or I'll take them to our Monday night webinar. Um, so that's what you want to do. Uh, you know, so yeah, the thing is, get into something free, get into an event, uh, whatever. The thing that we tell you tell everybody all the time is, don't sell. We, you know, no matter what business you're in, no matter what, and guys, the tools are there because the people who do this brilliantly, uh, you know, the Jonathan Buds of the world and the Mike Dillards of the world, and and uh, and and the Mike Hobbs of the world, uh, the uh, you know Todd Falcones, they know they don't they don't even sell their stuff, you know they do not sell their stuff personally. They will always refer you to a tool because it works. It just flat out works. Um, and again, even I, you know, I was a, I was, God, I started professionally selling. Um, I, I, you know, I did it professionally for thirty years, thirty-five years, forty years. Uh, I've written sales texts. I've coached. So I let the tools do it for me. So that was a little bit of a long-winded answer, but their interest. Eventually, they will ask you what it is you do. So you've got to know so that you can put something out there that is so enticing that they, they have to say, wow, show it to me. Let me see that. I'm interested in that. Tell me more. And, and when they hit you with a tell me more, that's when you can you know, mention your company or you can mention your training or whatever. But even after you do that, don't, you know, don't try to bring them into your team or right away, bring them to your capture page, bring them to a live event, bring them to one of the tools that you or your company has, um, and, and, and that's that's how you bring them in. So I hope that wasn't too long an answer for you, David. <laughs> ah, that's all right, Jerry. It's all good value. <laughs> all right, Jerry, I'm just going to mute you out so we don't get back feed. But thanks, Jerry, once again for... Um, doing your daily method of operation and just to let people know which absolutely go for it Jerry Jerry yeah. will be doing uh, some of the marketing survival skills trainings through the week so you guys who know Jerry it's definitely worth joining marketing survival skills and Jerry's got a lot of value I can let you know that now and yeah, you can see that just from Jerry's answers so I'll just mute you out, Jerry, and once again, thank you, and I'll carry on. Okay, cool. Now, pretty much I'm going to share my daily method of operation, but just one thing I wanted to cap on what Jerry was saying is there's another little trick I use in um, being interested in people when I'm chatting to them. I ask them, do they have a blog? I don't ask them for their marketing page or whatever. I just ask them, do they have a blog? And if they say yes, I go into their blog, I have a look, and I'll leave a comment on their blog. And that's one way, very simply, to sort of build that relationship. Because when you do invite someone to a webinar or invite them to join your mailing list to get, you know, like a master series like Marketing Survival Skills has, they're going to know you and they're going to remember which you were one of these people commenting on their blog, especially if they're getting started out and they don't get many comments. Uh, one thing we do in marketing survival skills, we actually have a chat room on Skype just devoted to commenting on one another's blogs, videos, uh, any sort of page like that. So that's pretty much uh, just another technique I, I use and it seems to work well because you are straight away asking them about their business without being spammed a, a page on, on their, you know, their primary business. You're taking interest in them as a person, not just their business. So that's just another little tip. Okay, so my daily method of operation, I'm just looking at a board behind me, so I hope the sound doesn't go out too bad. The first thing I do in a day is I watch a motivational video to get me in the right frame of mind. Um, with the toolbar, just to let people know, there is a motivation section here. I've got some videos on my blog which I've just picked off YouTube. 
and we've got these motivational websites. We will have more down down the track. These are just um, recommendations by members. Uh, but pretty much, I'll watch one or two videos. Sometimes I even watch my own videos just to pump me up, you know. Uh, and I find that's a good way to start the day. Personally, I I try not to read emails. I might scan quickly through them while I have my cup of coffee in the morning and I'll go through Skype chats, that type of thing early. but Pretty much, I then get into the daily method of operation. Um, I just make sure there's nothing important because one of the things is you can be as busy as you want to be and you can have that many things to do, but it, at the end of the day and at the end of the year, what is your end goal? You've got to ask yourself, what's your end goal and how are you going to get to that goal? Now, I recently have been doing a, a business, a micro business course here in Australia. And this is one of the things, it's been actually covered on marketing and survival skills, but it's something I've gone into a lot of depth in the last uh, couple of months through this course. And I remember one quote from Mike Hobbs. He was doing a webinar quite some time ago and he said, what are you doing to everyone? If you're not doing this, what are you doing? <laughs> And look, you can fill the day and be busy, and but you've got to analyse what you're doing each day, each week, each month, and and where's that going to lead you to the end goal? You can sit there writing blogs all day long. Is that going to get you to your end goal? Um, sitting there reading spam messages or deleting them, is that going to get you to your end goal? Uh, looking at statistics, is that going to get you to the end goal? Yes, Jim, I do have roosters. I, I'm broadcasting from my farm today, so <laughs> just got to be patient with them. But pretty much, that's my first thought. What's the end goal and what am I going to do today? Now, I change my list up all the time. Uh, so one of the first things I do uh, is I try and do the things which are the hardest or things I don't really like um, or you know to just get them out of the way and one of the first things I do is I talk to at least 10 people a day it's a pretty low number really uh, either through Facebook Skype uh, just general correspondence of getting back to people and I and I pretty much do what Jerry does I just build a relationship with them and once I've done that, the second thing I do is I post 10 classified ads for the toolbar here. Just to let people know, I don't really have a primary business. The toolbar is my primary business and marketing survival skills is pretty much my primary business too. Um, I'm not really in multi-level marketing. I have been. But pretty much my focus is on helping people with training and doing that with combined with marketing survival skills in partnership with the toolbar. So pretty much what I do is lately I've been posting ads. Now, for you guys who use the toolbar regularly, this is only going up over the weekend, the classified section. If you don't have it, uh, just go to refresh the toolbar here. Okay. I put quite a few links through the toolbar over the weekend. But Pretty much I've started adding three sites where I'm posting. Okay, we've got the Craigslist, the big one. We've got these other ones and there will be more each week because I'm posting all over the place. And all I do is do a simple ad. Right now, pretty much if I search, hope this works, the social network. Toolbar. And then looked on this computer is not my main computer, so here we go. Now just to let you know, I only registered this domain um, probably a month ago, two months ago. You can see it's already getting up here. You know, this. But one of the ways I'm bringing it up 
is doing videos and classified ads. I mean, this is a classified ad, for instance. Now, I found classified ads fairly effective, especially sites you're manually doing it and you're not using a, you know, using the sort of thing where, where you're doing it automated. This is very basic ad, okay? And you see over on the top right hand side, it's had 53 views. Now, any ad which gets 20 views within a week, and this, how old's this one? Um, I did this on the second of the six. Okay, so 50 views isn't bad. If you do 10 of them a day, yeah, if you get one or two, if I get one or two people joining up on the toolbar, which is free, it you know, just links across, uh, that, that's value to me. That's getting to my end goal. My goal at the moment is to get 10 people a day using this toolbar new. At the moment, I have two people on average a day to join the toolbar. That's, so that's my end, that's my end goal for, for the next few months. And my yearly goal, just to let you know, is to get you know, 100 people a day joining. I mean, that sounds unrealistic, but if you have an end goal and you want to do it, it will work. So at the moment, I have 60 people a month joining this toolbar. Um, I want to get that up to you know, 10 people a day. So you know, multiply that by the month or the week. You now there's 100 people a week, 400 people a month. So I'm slowly just building it. Um, please move the screen into view. Okay, can you see that now? Okay, so yeah, just over here on the right, it's a 52. Right, so that's just one method I'm using. Now I might change that up. I might actually turn around and say I'm going to do less ads because it's not working and be doing something else. Or I might um, do more ads. Every day I analyse what I did in the day. And yesterday, it's funny, I part-time uh, work for a real estate site in Australia selling commercial real estate. And I do a lot of the, the um, research on what's for sale online. And, that. and I use a counterclock when I'm doing, doing their work. And I analysed, I was online for six and a half hours. And on the clock, I only had six, three and a half hours. And I had to say to myself, well, what else did I do in that time? How did that make me money? Or, or how did that get to my end re result with, with my business? And just because I analysed it and thought about it, I know what I was doing. I was playing around with one of the toolbar features. <laughs> you know, but I shouldn't have been doing that. Uh, but I sort of got an idea in my head and I, I, I got out of focus. So, you know, today when I get off this, I've got to do another three and a half hours for that company. So sort of analysing things really helps. Uh, so that's the classified ads. The second thing I do, or the third thing, is I post to around about 20 Facebook groups uh, with video, like Jerry was saying. Now, this is my YouTube channel, I'm going to have to stop it. It's got an auto play on it. So the sound might go a bit funny for a minute. Oh no. It's good, just log me into YouTube. So I'm going to go to my videos. Now this is a very easy sort of job to do. <coughs> Now this is the video I'm promoting for the toolbar at the moment. I, I go and copy the link, then I go into Facebook. I'll just go in through the home page. Okay, I'll just pick a group. Just to let you guys know, here's another tip. Um, you can only be in three. 300 groups on Facebook. So I've, I've got about 230 at the moment I post to. That was a bad example because I've already posted to it. 
But all I do is I post the video in, I'll, I'll try and pick another one. Here we go. Pretty much I don't have to write anything. I've actually set the text up in YouTube so it fits and it hyperlinks. Now I don't get a lot of comments on this, but I do know I get views by doing this. Now sometimes I might do it on a <coughs> tip video, uh, but a lot of people like this video and it's only been out for the last week and a bit, so you know, it's already got 200 and something hits. Now I also post it in other places too, even in some of the classified ads, if they let me put a video in, I put this video in, or I put the other one I've got promoting the toolbar directly. But I find which People actually, because it's, even though it's on YouTube, it plays like a Facebook video. And being YouTube and Facebook, it's not a link which is going to get banned. So that's why I do it. I just find when I go through the groups personally, I'm more likely to watch a video than go to this person's site. You know, I'm a video person. Personally, I... I've never joined anything online unless I've seen someone's video. Uh, that's just a tip. I think marketing survival skills was the only thing I joined only because I knew, you know, who was about behind it and and what was going on. But every other thing I bought, I like to watch videos. I like to watch demos. Um, <laughs> that's why on this toolbar I've got multiple videos which are free for anyone to use on all this stuff. Uh, we also have you know, all the training for marketing survival skills, all the ar archives. Uh, you've got to be a member to access most of these. So, But the bonus tips and that you don't. So that's, that's, a, that's the third thing I do is post to groups. Now the, the fourth thing is, and Jerry touched on this, I just apologise too, which the webinar is going to be running over today. Um, I hope you guys don't mind, but I think getting two people's opinions on their daily method of operation is great value because we all do it differently. So I hope you guys can stay on. Uh, so okay, number four in tools on the toolbar is we've got the twin site. Now, like Jerry was saying, um, for those people who use twins, and a lot of you do who are in marketing survival skills, as I teach it all the time, I did release a video on the, the business with Facebook and twins, but pretty much twins has decided um, to dump Facebook uh, because Facebook wanted them to do it a certain way. But in that time, I found... I was getting a whole lot of Twitter ads and video views. So in this site, I try a day, and I don't do it all in one go. But around about, I go through about 100 to 200 seeds. I like to do things a little bit randomly. I don't like to do a set number. I like to look human. But with this site, pretty much, if I follow this person, I get two seeds. Okay. Now, if someone else follows me, I've got my seeds set to two seeds. Seeds are just like tokens, all right? So I'll go through and I'll follow people. I'll also sometimes watch the videos because you can add to YouTube and you can get Twitter followers by watching videos. There's not as many videos get viewed, just to let you know. I've got two videos on here offering One's offering three seeds, one's offering five. As you can see, that's already had someone follow me. It's gone down to zero. zero. Uh, but you can watch videos and get seeds that way. Or you can put videos on here. So I go through and, and I pump my Twitter up. Before I started using this site, even when I was doing the Facebook side, 
log into my Twitter. Just have to move this across because I can't see it. But if I go to profile, okay, when I started, and I think probably six weeks ago, <coughs> excuse me, uh, with this site, I pretty much was in a situation where I wasn't using Twitter a lot. And I actually had, uh, I was on that 2000 thing, which I knew I would hit. And I had about 14,000, sorry, 14, 1,400 um, followers and I had 2,000 people I was following. Now just slowly managing it through this site and another site uh, called Twitter Karma, which I'm not going to go in today, but I will give you um, a video on that. I've managed to get up to, um, I'm only following 2,467 people and I've got 200, oh, sorry, 2,833 people following me. So over six weeks I've built that slowly. I haven't just gone bang, bang, bang getting seized because you will get banned. Another really cool feature of this site, I don't really want to go into it too much because I've got videos on all this for you guys who want them. Uh, if we go back to Twitter, and people who use it regularly probably don't know about this. I think I mentioned it on Friday's webinar. Okay, Twitter. Twist. I love that saying. This shows you where your standings are with Twitter. Right, I've got 75%. That hasn't changed over the last week. I don't have a background. I did and never got it up. But it sort of shows you, um, you know, my profile information, my Twitter history, the age of the account, lists. So these things here are okay, but I need to work on them. Branding sort of fairly urgent. Um, branding is just putting your own background up with your personal details. But I've got a score of 75, so I'm not panicking. If you're under 50, I would be. But that's another feature of this site. So anyway, um, I do about one to a hundred, sorry, 100 to 200 seeds. Okay. The next thing I do, part five, is bookmarking. <clears throat> now, on bookmarking, I have, if you go into tools once again, we've got I am automator. Now, I can't do this today because I've already done this. But on this site, I don't know, we've even got to log in for it. I'll try and log in. Because I usually do this on my other computer. For some reason my other computer doesn't like GoToMeeting. And they're identical computers too. I oh, know, I do. You have 10 remaining bookmarks, okay? This site is free to use. You can get a paid membership for it, but they were offering it out like very restrictively only last night. I would say it's already gone back off like pretty much it, most people use it free. For the purpose of this I would personally use it free. So I can bookmark pages now. Just go back to uh, YouTube. So you can either bookmark your videos or you can bookmark your blog pages. I've pretty much bookmarked a lot of my pages. So I can go in and go to videos. I'll just see the last one I did. How to ping with Skype. This is, a, this is something I always make sure I get done every day. So if I go down to...
the next one, how to post all social networks. I get the um, copy link. Uh, this is being recorded, but sometimes I have troubles getting the recordings out, especially when they're long webinars. My my account on YouTube is endless in time because I've got a good standing with YouTube. So I will try and put it on YouTube. Okay, so what I do is I go submit new. I just get the URL and extract the details. Now I've got to take out the links because it's already going to be a link in there. Now this might be a little bit too short, we'll just see. You can see how it's tagged everything. The way I've set it up in YouTube. Right now, there's quite a few categories for business you can put it in. Now I set it for 15 days, one link per day. This is just going to help my YouTube videos get better ranked on YouTube. So that's the second method, and I do ten of them a ten of them a day. And then pretty much that's that's my daily method operation at the moment. Now I do a lot of other things as well, but I've completed my daily method operation. So I can go through and then go, oh, I'll go and have a look at some blog comments on my blog and, and respond to them. I'll go and fix up those couple of pictures. I'll go and do this, I'll go and do that. So if you have a baseline of a daily method or operation, um, like I do, and then go and do all those other things, which might be time wasting or need doing, uh, that, that way you, you're sort of going to have a plan. And when you get the plan done, Go through at the end of the week, analyse it, see where you could maybe do more. Like you don't want to undersell yourself, you want to challenge yourself. So I pretty much go through and, and review it. For instance, people who use the bonus tips videos, I used to um, do one a night and it took me all night to do it. By the time I edited it, put in all the, all the um, zooming and other features I put in my videos and I challenged myself the other night to sort of get a production line going and I did five on Saturday night and got them actually out there on the web um, which I wasn't expecting to do, I just wanted to get five done and amazingly because I challenged myself I got it done, I looked at how I can speed the process up of reviewing, editing, sending and having it all going on an assembly line and it was amazing how quickly I got the videos done and now I'm just putting them out in the boat, in the um, toolbar Skype rooms each each day now which I'm about to do soon. So pretty much um, I'm just going to cover the toolbar for people who don't know about it. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Uh, the social network toolbar is free for anyone to use. Uh, pretty much most people with marketing survival skills use this toolbar, but there's a, probably 50% of the users uh, also aren't from marketing survival skills. So if you want a toolbar which covers all your social networks and you can plug all types of things into it, these are plugins here. Um, and you can custom it, you can pull any of these things out. And that answers Jerry's question. Um, you can actually change your notifications too, Jerry. I'll just go in and show you quickly. Notification settings here. Oh, that might be the wrong one. Facebook probably. Facebook settings. Okay, so you can change those up, Jerry, if they're annoying you. <laughs> but pretty much you can go, like I was saying, you can go in here and you can add all sorts of things. Uh, on the toolbar itself, 
I can pull any of these things off. As you can see, I don't have everything ticked because I use this one as a demonstration. And you can, re you know, if you don't want the web or you don't want, you know, hundreds of channels of radio, you can untick all those. And we also have a um, choose from thousands of apps. So if you don't like the apps we use, you can actually go through and add your own applications. There's thousands of them. So I'll give you guys the link for the toolbar. Uh, let's go in this way. Actually, I'll just type it in. Okay, now. Make sure I send this to everyone. Okay. Entire audience. And you guys are welcome to share this toolbar because 90% of the stuff on it is free. I hope I spelled it right. Okay, that, that's the link for the toolbar. Now I'm just going to put in my Skype ID. If anyone wants to join the toolbar rooms and get the Twitter videos, which are coming coming out, I'll just show you them quickly here. This, like I was saying, this weekend I pumped out um, five videos. And pretty much they're all for Twitter, apart from this one, which is really, just to let people know about that. But this one here is Twitter part one, how to use the, use this system here, um, this application. Uh, the ne next one is how to ma manage your list with Twitter Karma. That's so you can um, unfollow and follow people, okay? And that's a free site. The third part is, uh, Jerry was talking about this as well, uh, how to do an automated message using social oomph. And believe me, guys, um, using Twitter and the automated message, I'm getting people adding me to Facebook all the time. So these are definitely worth watching. Uh, the other one here is Twitter part four, grow your your friends with twins, which we just covered. So what I might do is I'll put in my channel for those who want to see them. YouTube.com slash Dave Whitman. But if you want to access them that way, you can access them that way. There's a on the channel. There's a Twitter a Twitter section, and they should be in there. Because a lot of these these I haven't even announced in the in the room. So, all right. If there's any final questions, once again, I appreciate you staying for longer. Uh, just having Jerry on was excellent, and I thought it was worth letting Jerry run run with what he had to. To do because you know, it was great value, and I just thought you know having two different people doing two different things would sort of give you guys a great lot of ideas. So just let us know if there's any questions. I was will let you guys go. Thanks, Jim. Okay, guys, see you later. You love roosters too? Cool.